Hello everyone and welcome to Blaugwana Everything and welcome back to the channel and a match review as we look at how FC Barcelona just brute forced their way past Granada at Nuevo Los Carmenes to see them kick off February with a very spirited win that definitely had this guy here remembering Ramon Tadas and the Barca revolt. But goodness me, this Barcelona cannot defend. In what was a seriously nerve-wracking game that had us feeling dejected for 88 minutes then on the edge of our seats for the 36 minutes that followed, Barcelona fought back from 2-0 down to complete a remarkable comeback and book their place in the Copa semi-finals with a 5-3 win after extra time. So in this video I'll quickly look at how the teams lined up then we'll talk about Barcelona's performance in the night and we'll discuss negatives and positives from the game as well as pick the man of the match. So a quick reminder to hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so you can stay up to date with all the coverage of all things Barcelona on this channel. Now let's go ahead and look at how the two teams set up. Granada set up with a 4-2-3-1 formation with the following players. Escandel in goals, Carlos Neva, German Sanchez, Tuate and Diaz in defense, Montoro and Jan Eteki in a double pivot with Puertas, Soro and Kennedy ahead of them and Spurs legend Roberto Soldado leading the line. Barcelona on the other hand set up in a 4-3-3 with Marc-Andre Ter Stegen in goals and a back four of Umtiti, Araujo, Alba and Roberto with a midfield three of Sergio Busquets, Frankie de Jong, Pedri and the front three of Lano Messi, Antoine Griezmann and Francisco Trincao. Let's now briefly look at how Barcelona performed in this game. The match started off with Barca dominating from the off and calling the outstanding Escandel into action from very early on. Boy did he put in a shift last night, I'll get to the stats soon enough but trust me it was crazy. Barca created lots of chances early on but they just couldn't get past Escandel and midway through the first half totally against the run of play, Granada opened scoring. The goal came about as Soro pounced on an error by Umtiti who failed to clear a ball and he then squared to Kennedy with the former Newcastle and Chelsea man making no mistake from 6 yards out. At halftime, Barcelona deserved the lead but were somehow behind and they needed to be more efficient in the final third to find the back of the net and make a second half comeback. So naturally, Granada started the second half by scoring. So Dado found himself one on one with Marc-Andre Ter Stegen after Samuel Umtiti misjudged a ball played over the top and the former Madrid man doubled the host's lead and the Andalusians looked set to move on. I mean like 2-0, all they had to do was just sit back and soak up pressure. But unlike what we have seen from Barcelona at times in the past 3 or so seasons, the players did not hang their heads, instead they rolled up their sleeves and began to dig deep. They spent almost the entirety of the remaining minutes camped in Granada's half creating chance after chance but coming up against a brick wall. In the form of Escandel, I mean, this guy pulled off no less than 15 saves, guys. Alright, Barcelona put 20 shots on target. He saved 15. That's crazy. But Barca never stopped attacking and they hit the woodwork three times in the second half. Once with Francisco Trincao, once with Usman Dembele and once with Lionel Messi. As we reached the final three minutes, the game was all but over, so we thought, so I felt. I mean, personally, I was like, ugh, when this game gets to the 80th minute, because of the score, I'm going to sleep. But yeah, you know, I got to the 80th minute and I didn't sleep. Because the comeback finally arrived. Griezmann scored the first after a cross from Messi in the 80th minute, and from another pass by the captain, more or less a carbon copy pass actually, Griezmann headed the ball down to Jordi Alba and the fullback headed home from 6 yards out, clinched the equalizer, sending the game into extra time. The extra 30 minutes were just as bonkers as the 90 minutes before them. Barca scored with another goal by Griezmann, this time on a header after a cross by Jordi Alba. Then Granada won a penalty out of almost nowhere really. It was a soft penalty some would say, but I still think Sergio Dest shouldn't have been you know, doing that in the box should have just tried to block the cross rather than try and, you know, uh, show the barge the guy. 
Anyway, Granada won a penalty and equalized just three minutes after Barcelona had finally taken the lead. Federico sending Marc Andre to Stegen the wrong way, and as the team switched sides after the first overtime period, the game was tied at 3 3 and wide open for whoever was going to score the next goal. But in all honesty, from just about the beginning of extra time, there was really only one team that looked to be growing more and more in confidence and was looking more and more likely to score a goal, and that team was Barcelona. They dominated the final 15 minutes and finally found a way to kill off Granada. First, it was Frankie De Jong who pounced on a rebound from a Messi shot. Messi had worked himself into a wonderful shooting position. Shot that he put on target and that was once again saved by Escandel. But unfortunately, this time the goalkeeper could only parry the ball into Frankie De Jong's path and he made no mistake. Jordi Alba then was able to seal the game off as he scored a spectacular volley to make it 5-3 off a Griezmann assist once again. Just like that, full time came, Barcelona won 5-3 and it was honestly just, it was a crazy match. And well, Barca really pulled off a remontada here, yeah, you know, nice way to warm up for PSG, right? <laughs> Alright, I will now get into my negatives and positives section. I'll start with my negatives of which I have mainly two. First up, Shambolic defending. If you had asked me prior to kickoff what our best centre back partnership was, I would have said without hesitation, Samuel Umtiti and Ronald Rao. Sadly, that was not the case last night and not so much because of Rao's fault, it was, it was mostly a terrible performance by Samuel Titi who had a nightmare of a game where he first of all made an error that led to first goal that Granada scored you know and with that actually Barcelona's season tally went up to six goals conceded from defensive errors. That's just, that's so cringe. Furthermore, Umtiti was also easily turned and outpaced by an aged soldado, this coming after Umtiti had actually misjudged the flight of a ball that was played to soldado and you know, oof, it was it was a pretty bad performance by Big Sam but hopefully it was just a setback for him and he can return to his best soon, kind of like what we saw him do against Bilbao, I mean, how do you shut down Inyaki but then like finished soldado was like... Anyway, my next negative was supposed to be wasteful finishing because, you know, 36 shots taken and only 5 goals, like, you know, that's, that's a scream efficiency to me, but put it down to poor finishing would be a big disservice to Escandel in the Granada goal as he made no fewer than, like I pointed out earlier, 15 saves, including some very spectacular ones to deny Messi another free kick goal and also to deny Griezmann a magnificent bicycle kick goal. With that said, I will now talk about the positives and overall there were a lot of positives from this match that saw a lot of big performances from the likes of Messi, Griezmann, Alba, Frankie de Jong, like you name them. There were some great performances by Barcelona players in this game. But I feel like tonight the positives can be best summed up in our brilliant fighting spirit. There was never a moment that the players let their heads hang, they just kept going, they just kept trying, they just kept forcing save after save out of Escandel to a point where I honestly think he just got tired and he couldn't stop any more shots, alright? That's how come he was just, he could only parry that messy shot into Frankie De Jong's path. Barca just kept on going, smacking the post time and time again until finally they breached that Granada defense and after that the floodgates really did open. This is certainly not a game that Barcelona would have won under Valverde or Setien. I mean only last season Barcelona lost 2-0 in the same stadium. You know they didn't come back to draw 2-2 in the league they lost that game to nil. It's worth giving kudos to Ronald Koeman I should say. It looks like he has done at least a remarkable job to have these players in the right place mentally. With all of that out of the way let's now talk about the man of the match. There were four players whose performances tonight were outstanding. Yes I am talking about Messi, Griezmann, Alba and Escandel. As pointed out earlier, Granada's goalkeeper was magnificent on the night, 
unfortunately for him he was on the losing side so you know i can't really give him this title for today it's for barca any one of their three players can lay claim to it griezmann with two goals and two assists messi with two assists three key passes and really just the type of performance that only he can pull off you know those 10 out of 10 types of performances where he doesn't score a goal but he's still like the man. Both Messi and Griezmann were electric, incisive and decisive but for this game I have to give the title of man of the match to a much maligned man especially on this channel Jordi Alba. The fact that it was he that scored that stoppage time equalizer to take the game to extra time speaks volumes. Coming from a sub performance against Bilbao where he scored an on goal he had much to prove here tonight. I especially think that this could have been a watershed moment for Jordi Alba who has been the biggest culprit of folding and fading away at big moments when the pressure is turned on. There was none of that here and he deservedly gets the Blaugrana everything man of the match gong for his never say die performance and attitude that he showed last night. Well. That does it for my match review, ladies and gents, what were your thoughts on the match, who was your man of the match? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments, thank you for tuning in, have a great day and for Sabasa.